What's up guys, TG back with another video, and episode 1 of the final season has finally arrived. I really enjoyed it and there is a lot to talk about. Going forward with the rest of the season, I will be live tweeting during episodes, so be sure to follow my new Twitter in the description down below to join in on the discussions. Also, like and subscribe if you enjoy so you don't miss any videos for the rest of the season. So I want to start with everything going on at Sanctum, where there's high tensions between the children of Gabriel who want Russell dead and the believers who still believe in him. Throughout the episode, he was locked up by Clark and her people, trying to just be just and fair. We are also seeing some tension within our group, as there are a lot of disagreements and they are coping with Abby's death. Clark seems to be in denial about how she's feeling. She's trying to convince herself and everyone else that she's fine when it's clear that she is not. Maddie easily sees this and is annoyed with Clark when she won't talk about it or deal with it. Going forward this season, we will see Clark grieving over Abby, but for now, she is just trying to focus on the current problems. We also saw some tension between Jackson and Murphy because Jackson blames Murphy for Abby's death. Although Murphy did play a role, we know that he's telling the truth when he said he didn't know what was going to happen. Despite this, Murphy does blame himself, and it seems that he will be battling those demons throughout the season. Him and Amoria are also the ones keeping the Believers under control right now, since they do think that um, Amori and Murphy are Kaylee and Daniel. Going forward, I think it's going to be hard for them to maintain their control over the Believers, and they will actually find out that they're not Kaylee and Daniel. Either way, the Believers are going to be restless, trying to stop the execution of Russell, or should I say Shadheda? I think that's how you pronounce it. In my opinion, that was the biggest shock of the episode. Since the end of last season, we've wondered where he went after being eliminated from Maddie, and we now have our answer. Throughout this episode, Russell pleaded and wanted his death, and as I mentioned before, Clark did originally try to avoid that, but toward the end of the episode, we did see Russell finally make her snap. Clark attacked him and had the chance to shoot Russell, and he wanted her to do it. We instead saw her knock him out with the gun, and that's when we saw him with Shadheda inside his mind. The Dark Commander slit his throat and took over his body. Clark and I'm just going to say the Dark Commander. I don't know if I'm pronouncing uh, Shadheda correctly. But um, Clark and the Dark Commander slash Russell then go outside. And Clark reveals that he will die for his mistakes. When the trailer came out, I did say that Russell wasn't going to go down without a fight. And he won't because although he wanted to die, the Dark Commander doesn't. Him, backed by Jordan and the Believers, will put up a fight, and we will see further conflict between them and the Children of Gabriel. I think this story will continue in Episode 3, and the next episode will be focused on the Anomaly. We still have a lot of questions about the Anomaly, but we did get some answers in Episode 1. We now know where Bellamy is. He got dragged away and taken into the Anomaly. We got a little more info on these men here. They aren't just traveling through the Anomaly, but they seem to actually be controlling it from within. That's how they were dragging Bellamy without actually being present and shooting at Echo and Gabriel. Echo was able to draw a few of them close enough to actually shoot them and pull them like through the anomaly. And it was actually pretty cool to see Rowan in that scene. Anyway, what was very interesting was the messages that popped up on the inside of the helmet um, of these people. When he looked at Echo and Gabriel, it said to capture them but not to kill them. But for Hope, it said kill on sight. There's not much we know about what's going on with these people right now. But I do have an early prediction. As of now, I think that they might have captured Dioza when she first went into the anomaly, but she eventually escaped. Knowing that these people plan to do the same to the others on Sanctum, she planned to try and save Octavia with help from Hope. They knew that the stab wouldn't kill her, but instead would transfer her safely into the anomaly with Dioza. They knew Bellamy would be going after her, which is why they put the message in Hope's arm saying to trust Bellamy. These people with helmets took Bellamy to prevent him and Hope from going back to Dioza and Octavia. It also seems that they will be capturing Octavia at some point because she is in that white room. I could be wrong, but that is my current belief, and we will learn more about that in future episodes. Episode 2 will mainly focus on the anomaly. In the promo, we see Dioza and Octavia. At first, it does seem that Octavia is trying to leave and escape, and Dioza is holding her back and saying no, and that the anomaly is her new home. Octavia is clearly upset by this, and like I said, it does seem that she will be trying to fight it at first, but who knows what's going to happen after. 
we also see Echo, Hope, and Gabriel. They are now inside the anomaly together investigating it and trying to learn more. We also see this clip of Hope hugging Echo, and I'm really curious uh, as to why. It probably has to do with Bellamy and Hope feeling bad for what she did and how she's responsible for the current situation of Octavia and Bellamy both being gone. Because of her memory loss, she's not completely aware of what's going on, and she completely forgot about the motives be behind what she did. So it would make sense that she feels bad and that she's apologetic, and maybe that's why. One other thing I want to quickly mention in this clip um, is this person drowning, but I can't make out who it is. I watched it like a few times. I slowed it down. I paused. I can't, I can't really tell. I'm guessing that it is in the anomaly, so probably one of the six characters that we know are in there. Let me know if you guys can tell who it is. I'm interested to see what you guys think. That is it for this video, guys, giving my predictions going forward based on the new info that we got in this episode. Next episode should be really good, and we will be learning a lot about Octavia and Dioza's story, and just the anomaly in general. Once again, be sure to follow my Twitter if you want to discuss during the episode next week. Thanks for watching, and let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments.